Welcome again in CACPHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see a simple uh, jQuery Ajax post request in CACPHP. So let's see. So I'm just opening my source code. I'm just opening users controller. And you can see that I have written a simple method in here called receive. And what I will receive, I will receive a simple ID by post request. And I just uh, given the exit in here, nothing else. So from where I will send this ID. I will send this ID from my users add.php in here. So I'm just writing here a simple ID for my this submit button. Or you can do anything in here. It's just an example, nothing else. So this is the button. And I'm just going to take a simple ID in here. ID. So I'm just giving an ID called cat button. And in here, I'm just giving here script tag. And in this script tag, I'm just opening, uh, starting the jQuery. So I'm just uh, typing here, call the function. So dollar sign function, and the first bracket, tally bracket. And uh, here I will first uh, target my ID. So dollar sign, my ID name is cat button. That is in here, this cat button. And just given here the simple click event. So this is the click event. I was writing the function and okay. Okay, this is function and a curly bracket in here. Okay, so I've just given a simple uh, action that's called the click event, this click event. So in this callback function, I just given here the alert. So at first, I want to check that my jQuery is working or not. So if uh, after click on this button, if I see the hello method, and the, sorry, hello message, that means that my jQuery is working fine. So I'm just going in here, reload my page, and just to click on here, so you can see the hello. So that means uh, uh, my jQuery is working fine. So next thing that I will do, I will just uh, uh, use a simple jQuery Ajax method for sending a post request. I'm just uh, typing a dollar sign and dot post and uh, sorry, and dollar sign Ajax. We'll just use the Ajax method, not post method. So in Ajax uh, method, I'm just uh, giving here some settings. So my first settings will be uh, that's called method name. So I will use the post method in here. So here I go. I'll just post method. And the next one will be the URL. So this is the URL. That means where I will send this request. So my request will be in, in my users controller and this region method. So I'm just using here the CACPHP URL helper. Uh, there is a method called build. So this build method I will use. So I'm just typing at the this, then URL build, URL, and URL has a method called build. So this build, uh, in this build, I'm just uh, mentioning my controller name. Controller, and my controller name is users, and my action name is receipt. Action name is receipt. Okay, the same next thing that I will do, I will just uh, give here the data, that which data or what types of data I want to send, which data I want to send. So I will send the uh, ID, a simple ID, it's just the static ID. I've given an ID value 10. So you can see, say that why I'm not sending this uh, from data. So it's just an example, I'm just sending it uh, manual ID, nothing else. So data, this ID I will receive from, uh, when I will send it from here, that means from this view, from this view, I'll receive it in my controller, okay? So already I've written the code for receive the get data method for receive the ID. Okay, after save, let's see that it's uh, my script is working or not. It should be another, right? So lots of time we have worked like it should work. But it will not work. I'm just going in network 
and uh, in this network so now if i just click here okay it's not actually it's reloaded reloaded my source so i'm just given reload my page and shoot that it has saved also reload again uh did i remove the okay uh, now if we just click here you will see that uh, the request actually has sent after click on here but you see that the status is 403 that's called forbidden if we just click in here you will see the preview that csr token actually mismatch like something like that or missing so in headers uh, we have to send uh, csr tokens okay in headers so i will send the csr token so let's go in here so before that let's see that where is our uh, csr token so if you just uh, go in your inspect element and just go in here and this is the prom and you can see that there is a display none and you can see that uh, cac php has uh, uh, given a hidden field called csr token and you can see a token in here you have to send this token in headers this you have to get first grab it and send it in headers so then the problem will be solved okay so i'm going in here uh, so another another uh, um, thing is uh, you you have to check that you csr token is uh, enable by default it should enable but if you uh, uh, remove it from your application.php like this one this csr token should be enabled in here so if you remove it uh, or you not seeing your csr uh, token in here you should add this csr token okay so let's go in here so i'm just going and uh, sending another setting called headers so i'm just adding the headers in here headers and in headers i will send the csr token so the attribute is csrf x csrf and this token this is the word i think token okay and then uh, what are you, we can do we can just directly receive uh, grab this uh, name from here and take this value it is a value so we need this value so by jquery we can easily take this okay the, for example i have just write the dollar sign and i will just give a single quote in here and here we can target the name and it's an equal and here we can give the name what is the name name is csr token okay this is the name so just put it in here and then uh, I, I i just take the bell so by bell method i've just given this uh, i've just taken this value so after save after save if you just go in here again and just reload your page again okay so now i can go in network and just click on here oh so you can see that 200 that means okay and in preview you can see my 10 so I have sent actually 10, this 10 received by this uh, get data. So uh, I have just uh, uh, used here like uh, send this headers XHR token like this way. You can um, also follow another way like CACPHP has mentioned in their documentation in middleware. Uh, in this middleware, they have mentioned another two way like this way and this way this is also the same thing you have to just copy this line they actually just receive the csr token uh, or or put the csr token in meta tag so if you, you have to put it in your layout so when you will put it in your layout uh, example let's give an example okay uh, in cat pcp according uh, by this example okay so I'm just going in my default.php. Oh, here you can see I already given this. Okay. Okay. So if you it may you are confirming this I'm it's working or not, just remove it at first and see again that it's work or not. I'm going in here. 
So click in here. So you can see it's, it's still working. Okay. So they have actually just uh, here that uh, you can use this in MetaTag. You actually put it in MetaTag. And now you can take this Meta CSRF token anywhere, anywhere in your skill. For example, in add, now you can uh, you can use this one, this meta tag attribute content, this one. Okay, so by this one, this meta, I've just taken it from meta and name CSRF token attribute content, the same thing. I just save it and just go in here, reload again. Okay, you can see network, I mean network, I was sending. Oh, you are seeing, seeing the 403. Where's the reason? Let's see again. So meta name CSRF token. I think it's not saved this one. Let's save this one first. Let's check that I have used this HTML meta and also you can check that it has saved in your meta tag. So you should see in your meta tag. So in head tag. So where it is? We are not seeing, we are not seeing the meta tag, why? I'm just reload again. See again. So now you are seeing, okay? So now it should work. So I'm just save again, go again, save again, everything is same. Go again and just uh, go in network. Now it will work perfectly. I'm sending, so you can see that you are seeing this 200. 200, that means okay. And this is the value that is uh, actually grabbed by uh, this method, I get that. So this is a simple example that how you can send a jQuery post request in CAC PHP. In next tutorial, we'll see an application that how we can use uh, we can apply post request for dependency select box for dependent select box so let's see the next tutorial thank you for watching this tutorial